Hey everybody. Yeah, I'm here at my job as you can tell. I don't have to start to 9.15. That's the <laughs> only reason I'm doing this right now. I actually got dropped off at 8.17. But anyway, that's not why I'm here to that's not what I'm here to talk about. What I am here to talk about though is something very interesting. Now, the other day I was looking online uh, about information. You know, just looking up information on Friendship is Magic and basically, you know, like one of the upcoming episodes of PMVs are, are out there. And one thing really caught me off guard. There was a picture, I'll provide a link down below if I can. Uh, but it was a picture that was uploaded about two days prior. And I looked at this, and I was like, this looks really legit. You know, it looks really real. So I asked around on Twitter, I even posted the picture. I, I basically asked whether or not did this, anybody knew if this was a legit screenshot or not. I even went as far as to tweet this to the people in charge of in charge of the show one of them being Jim Miller known as the biggest Jim on Twitter and surprisingly not long after Jim responded and I guess because it was early in the morning and pretty much I think he had just tweeted something prior so I I basically got a response from him and he said sorry to disappoint you but it's not and Every, anybody else, not just part of the show, but fans and all that, uh, chimed in as well. Some, some saying that they thought it was real, some kind of having an idea that it might be fake. But still, it was the, but still it got got people talking because I'm. It looks like I'm not the only one that was kind of surprised by what I saw here. Now. The picture, basically, like I said, I'll provide a link, hopefully, to it so you guys can check it out, is an animation done, or kind of a, a picture, an edited Photoshop picture, done, and then kind of, you know, animated and edited by one George Garcia. Garcia, yeah, that's G-A-R-Z-A. Uh, that's the last name, George Garcia. Or Ga George Garzera. Yeah, George Garzera, that's what it is. So I have to pronounce the name wrong. But he put, the, he's known to use what's known as vectors, if you will. And edit some of them into some pictures. He'll basically take, I guess, edit vectors that are leaked online or something like that and then edit, it, edit them together for a picture or maybe perhaps an animation. Now, the reason I bring this up is because the picture you will be looking at when you click the link looks like it could be from an upcoming episode. And, that was, and this picture, of course, is Spike and Rarity. Now, the animation he does of the same picture makes it look like they're about to kiss and the reason I asked why if this was legit or not because you know we have the upcoming episode She's All Yak set to premiere a week from this Saturday in other words on May 11th and you know when so it would make sense if maybe there was a moment like this you know, in there. It makes some sense if there was a moment like this in there. But, unfortunately, uh, we don't know. Unfortunately, it's not. But I will give George Gazera, again, sorry if I pronounced the last name wrong, some credit. He does make it look very believable. But what's funny, though, is he one of the pictures he's kind of showcased to give people an idea that, yeah, what you see sometimes online is some of the animations and drawings he does through the edits and everything that he uses the vectors on. One of them was actually very similar, if not identical, to the Valentine's Day 
a picture of Spike and Rarity that was sold in that Valentine's Day pack in the Valentine's Day car packs they were selling over back in February and January and uh, he mentioned that he had noticed this and kind of edited his vector to kind of match to it or something like that but he, but the reason I bring this up is because somebody else apparently wanted wanted to ask Jim Miller, Biggest Jim, some questions. You see, he asked Big Jim um, if you know about okay how old the characters are. Jim's response was they never really had a chance to, I guess, specifically uh, specifically specify the ages. But the other question was about Spike and Rarity and if we're going to get something between them. You know, are they going to get together? Because what was surprising to me, and I don't think, well, it shouldn't be too surprising. Hold on. Sorry about that. But anyway, what was surprising to me, but again, like I say, shouldn't be too surprising, is the amount of responses. Now, we only had one response that was kind of like, okay, I'm glad someone's clarifying this because this whole Spike Rarity deal is getting out of hand it's ridiculous it's ue kind of stuff but a majority of the other responses what it looked like to me was vastly basically uh folks in favor of it folks basically being in favor of spike and rarity being together and this one person and this was all due believe it or not to just me asking the question whether or not this this uh animation this picture was legit or not uh, which it turned out not to be but give George Gazera a lot of credit for making it look like it was um, but basically long story short long story short uh, somebody doing this conversation or doing this tweet that just expanded out of this one question that I asked um, Asked Jim Miller, like I said, what the ages were of the characters, which he said they never had a chance to really, uh, uh, really never had a chance to, or I never had a chance to really uh, specify. But again, they wanted to know about Spike and Rarity and if they're going to be together. Now, this is one thing that a lot of fans kind of get clued in on. You see, Jim Miller. Jim Miller basically said that he has to tell this individual, along with anybody else that probably read that question to him, the same thing he tells anybody else that asks a question about the future of the episodes, or the future of the show, the future of the season, like with upcoming episodes and synopsis. And that is, he cannot say anything. His NDA prevents him from saying anything. Now, some people will look at that and be like, okay, when somebody like Jim says, the, you know, uses the NDA uh, reasoning for not being able to kind of hint us or hint anybody on what's to come, that usually means something is going to happen, but they're not, they can't say. Now, whether that's true or it isn't for the season, we'll have to wait and see. But for Jim to basically say, look, I can't really say because the NDA agreement I've, you know, writ, uh, signed or agreed to prevents me from doing so, that usually kind of clues people in like, yeah, so you're basically saying something is going to happen, but you can't tell us the specifics, which is honestly a good, I, which honestly is probably a good counter answer uh, to the whole, oh, well, you can't tell us, but you're saying NDA, so you're basically saying, yeah, you, I, you guys are going to address it, but you're just not saying when, or what the story's going to be, or what the result's going to be. Which, again, is a good, is good reasoning, because if you're someone like Jim Miller, you're someone that's kind of like the, one of the big editors, storytellers, supervisors on a show like Friendship is Magic, of course you're not, and especially with the fact that over the past several seasons, several years, you've had episodes and stuff get leaked out, of course you're going to be careful not to let anybody know what you have planned, so, or what's going to happen, which, 
which is why, and I will give Hasbro some credit on this, they've been taking their time, has, well, not only Hasbro, but AllSpark Animation and the creative staff behind the series, along with Discovery Family, that I'll give them credit. This is the reason why we haven't been getting the synopsis and the titles for some episodes until well into the season, or even just at the begin, or just weeks before or a month prior. We haven't been getting synopsis for the season because they want to try to keep it a surprise. Which again, like I said, is a good move on their part. But still, it's not going to stop people from trying to get the information out of these individuals. But again, like I said, this all began when I tweeted the question of whether or not this picture was legit or not. Which again, thanks... Thanks to George Gazera, era, and again, sorry if I pronounced the last name wrong, um, we find out it's not. We find out that it's not uh, legit. I mean, what it is basically, from what he was able to tell me, is, and tell anybody, and tell everybody else that was kind of invested, was this was actually uh, an edit and an animation that he had done based on a scene from Spring Breakdown between Equestria Girl's rarity and the uh, character that was only made for that episode, Ragamuffins. That's about it. That, that's all it was, that's all the scene was based off of. And again, I'll give him credit. I'll give George credit. It's like, you could have, it's like if nobody knew that, it could. If nobody knew that, that's you know everybody would. It's like, like I'm saying, if nobody if nobody knew that, knew that that this was a an edit and an animation edit done by somebody to look real and legit almost, people would think it was really legit. People would think it's from an upcoming episode. I mean, you take a look at some. Uh, screenshots that obviously you get photoshopped or get edited somehow and people are saying oh you see this this is a screenshot from an upcoming episode and then it turns out to be fake because I think what's going on here is people again are trying to get the information out of the creative staff somehow some way but the creative staff like you know they're saying we're not budging our agreement with the NDA basically says no can do so just got to keep guessing but like I said when somebody asked him about if we were going to get spike rarity officialized uh, later on he basically used the NDA excuse which kind of gives people the idea that yeah you guys are going to address it you just can't say when where or what those results going to be so so yeah um, basically this all began because I just asked the question about this picture but when you click on this picture, and you look at it, you ask yourself, you, ask, you gotta ask yourself that if you didn't know it was an animation edit or a picture edit, wouldn't you find it believable? Wouldn't you say, man, that looks legit? Because I, I did it first, and so did some other people. But again, give George Gazera, okay, yeah, George Gazera uh, a lot of credit for making it look like that. But Anyway, that's all I want to say, guys, on this, in this video on, you know, I'll, basically, uh, I guess you could say that through this, we kind of probably are going to get, we probably got a hint that they are going to maybe discuss Spike and Rarity, the Sparity deal, maybe make them official or semi-official, whatever, before the season's out. But, you know, we don't really know much besides, but we don't really know because of Jim's NDA. So, yeah, it all started with this tweet, honestly. So, let me know what you guys think, though, down below. Comment if you like. Check out the tweet yourself. I got to get in and go use the restroom and then get ready for work. And I will talk to you all later.